Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna discuss one of the most asked questions we get when we're helping a customer design their home theater, media room, or family room in their home. Should I get a TV or a projector? There's a lot of debate on which one is better and typically it all comes down to the use cases and the budget for your situation. So let's break down the differences to help you make the best choice for your room. Twenty years ago, or eons in the technology world, this question was a lot easier to answer. At that time, most projectors had a hard time outputting large amounts of light. They simply didn't look very good in rooms that couldn't be made almost pitch black. The cost of projectors at that time was also exorbitant as compared to TVs. Fast forward to today and both front projectors as well as flat panel TVs are getting better and less expensive every single year. We can all probably agree that as long as the picture remains clear, sharp, and with natural color, bigger is usually better. There is nothing like a life-size image to make you feel like you're on the field with your favorite athletes or living alongside the characters in a story a film is telling. Simply put, the larger your screen is, the more immersive the viewing experience is. Now, very bright 4K front projectors and ultra short throw models are available at reasonable prices today, blurring the lines between the two technologies. Now, choosing between a projector and a TV mostly comes down to the environment and how you plan to use that room. So, let's discuss in this video two of the most common environments for TV and movie watching today family rooms or media rooms, and dedicated home theater rooms, in which technology we recommend for different applications. The modern family room, or media room as we often call it, is a gathering space for family and friends, often featuring oversized couches, a coffee table, and sometimes even a fireplace. It's a great spot to spend time with loved ones. Choosing between a TV and a front projector in this type of room depends on a number of factors. A TV is usually best suited for these situations, simply because they usually have a much brighter image than a projector can produce. Since most of family rooms will have ambient light from windows, overhead lights, and other sources of light, a TV can be turned on full brightness without being washed out like a similarly priced projector. You can find reasonably priced TVs today as large as 85 inches. This means that it is possible to put a fairly large flat screen TV in your family room or media room. Since newer TVs have increasingly thinner bezels and becoming so thin now, they can easily sit against a wall completely out of the way and have a pretty pleasing aesthetic. Not to mention, you can mount a smart TV on the wall, plug it in, and you're essentially ready to go. But even with a TV, controlling the light will help, and you may want to use curtains or shades to block sunlight if it's shining directly on your TV. But in most cases, a TV is a good solution for these types of rooms. Now, if you have decided you're going the TV route, we do recommend you watch our OLED vs. LED video, which we'll link in the description. In that video, we talk about the differences in the new TV technology, and we help you understand what TV is best for the situation. For example, OLED will have deeper, inky blacks because it's able to completely shut off sections of the screen to show a true black where LED can't. However, with the emergence of mini-LED, the LEDs are so small, they're now starting to compete with the OLED TVs and be a bit brighter for rooms with more ambient light. If you still need help deciding after watching that video, just contact one of our experts on our website or just give us a call. So you're probably thinking, all right, I wanna buy a big TV for my family room. I've been convinced, not so fast. If you watch a lot of movies, television shows, or sports in the family room and want something bigger than 85 inches, you may want to consider a short throw front projector. It's now possible to get a model like this that can produce a picture up to 120 inches for less money than some 85 inch TVs. The technology behind these short throw projectors is also ever changing for the better as well. The new class of ultra short throw front projectors use a new type of screen material that rejects ambient light. This allows you to have a huge image even in a brightly lit room. The projector can sit on the cabinet right against the wall and sit, solves the problem and the issue of having to hide it. We've recently reviewed the Epson LS500 short throw projector that we think is a great option for a lot of people in that situation. With a projector like that, you have a pretty bright image on a screen with technology to keep the image bright even when you have a few lights turned on. To learn more about that Epson LS500 projector, you can watch our review at the link in the description. Now, Let's say you want to go even bigger than 120 inches. There are now new types of screen materials for conventional front projectors. If you go the conventional route, we do recommend you consider curtains and motorized shades to add some light control to the room. 
Of course, this raises the issue of what to do with the projector and screen when they're not in use. Well, we are tech geeks and we do love our gear. We understand how they might be an eyesore out in the open in the middle of a family room at all times. The good news is, is that there are many new ways to hide the screen when it's not in use. You can actually hide your screen in a pocket in the ceiling or a decorative wall mount. Then by integrating it with a home control system, you make it simple to set up and put away your entire system with just the push of a button. Next, let's discuss choosing between a television and a front projector in a custom home theater room. These are spaces in the home that are dedicated to movie, TV, or sports watching. Rather than being in the middle of the house or in high traffic areas, most home theaters are usually tucked away and are often constructed in bonus rooms, spare bedrooms, or in a finished attic or basement. Rooms like this are usually designed to maximize the viewing pleasure and often look like a shrunken down version of a theater that you might go visit on the weekend to check out the latest Hollywood blockbuster. This can include everything from acoustic treatments to home theater furniture with stadium seating and even a popcorn machine for good measure. Perhaps one of the most important aspects of a theater room is the ability to completely control the light. As you can guess, there is a reason theaters don't have windows. If you're gonna go through the expense of creating a dedicated room for these types of experiences, making sure you can control the lighting to the room is imperative. To take a more in-depth look at home theater lighting and its importance, check out our video on that topic that we'll link in the description below. Now, of course, everyone is entitled to their opinion, but at Audio Advice, we highly, highly recommend a front projection system for a custom home theater room. For the price of an 85-inch flat panel TV, you can get an excellent 120-inch plus screen. With a bigger budget, you can even get a stunning setup where the screen stretches wall to wall. The entire goal of having a home theater room is to immerse you completely in the experience. There's just something special about the way light bounces off the screen from a front projection system. It just feels more natural, it feels more lifelike as compared to an overly bright TV, and it's the closest thing you can get to experience the latest Oscar winning film at a commercial cinema. Now, another small subjective point of discussion is that most people feel watching a movie that is projected on a screen is a little less fatiguing to their eyes than watching on a TV. Now, whether you feel that way or not, it is all about removing all the outside factors that make you feel like you're watching a movie and instead make you feel like you're experiencing that movie. Now, since a lot of movies today are in widescreen, you'll also have the advantage of filling an entire 2.4 widescreen with a projector. This takes advantage of giving you the biggest possible screen, whereas on a TV, you're stuck with those black bars above and below you, which in turn gives you a little bit smaller of an image when you're watching a movie. Most projectors today can easily flip between 2.4 and 169 ratios just by using a one button click on the remote. We'll leave a link in our description to our widescreen explain video where we break down how to get widescreen in your theater and go over what all the different aspect ratios are and what they look like. All right, of course, some people probably want to use their theater room for sports and you probably also want to have a few lights on while you're watching the big game with your friends. Luckily, the latest projection technology and just a little bit of planning make this totally doable. If you design your room in a way that allows you to individually turn off any lights that shine directly on your screen, you can have a good amount of light in the room and still get a huge, fantastic picture. I do have to say, the days of being forced to sit in the dark in order to have a bright picture are all but over. With a good screen and a new bright projector, you'll get a picture with most of the lights on in the room that is far superior to what you could have had 10 years ago sitting in a completely dark room. I hope this video has helped you decide which option's best for you. If you are building home theater or a media room, check out our website, audioadvice.com, where we have a free 3D home theater design tool that'll help you decide your screen size and your speaker placement. Plus, on that website, we also have how-to videos, buyer guides, an inspiration gallery, and all things home theater. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our latest content. And finally, we love hearing from you, so leave us a comment, and let's chat about what you chose and why. Now, if you need even more help deciding, you can just give us a call, chat with us online at our website at audioadvice.com, or stop by one of our award-winning showrooms, and we'd be happy to help you out. We'll see you next time.